Iron Barn. Lift, lift. I got your spot. I got your spot. Ah! Ah! Hey, 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 hey. It's cool, baby. It's cool. Just sit down. Hey, we'll take another run at it. Me and Monk Monk have been eating a lot of protein with our new nutritional advisor, Point Mount Monk Monk. Oh, oh, he's too, he's feeling the burn. He's all burnt out. He's got to take a moment. He's got to have a little bit to drink, and then he's got to have a protein snack because protein is an important element to eating right, and Monk Monk is going to lift this weight. Oh, baby, get it, Monk Monk, get it. We're about to do this. You don't want your monkey guts to get all tied up. There's a real science to doing exercise, especially when it's muscle exercise. <laughs> Me and Monk Monk are gonna paint ourselves a dark brown. Well, he's already kind of a dark brown, but we're gonna glide all this uh, bodybuilding goo on our bodies and just uh, be studs because since you last saw us, We've been eating protein like it's going out of style. And actually, uh, people have been treating us like it's going out of style because if you know anything about protein and what it does to your uh, insides, you get on that treadmill and pretty soon you're walking alone. But we have a new nutritionist. Make yourself known, nutritional Randall. Oh, Randy knows he's been in the NF he's been in an NFL outfit. So he knows a thing or two about being in shape. And he's teaching us how to get our protein without just a bunch of soy protein milkshakes and a bunch of like 25 eggs and a uh, hamburger and just a boring diet. There's other ways to get protein. And we're here to tell you about it as we roll through our healthy new year, new start to our diet, shock the system. I mean, we'll eventually get back into some sweets and treats and some challenges and some fun. Not that this isn't fun. As you can see, Monk Monk is buff. He's the stuff and the girls just can't get enough. Mom, Daddy! Ooh, 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 ooh. Mom, Daddy! We did this whole uh, photo shoot where Monk Monk was doing like casual poses at the gym where he was like leaning on some weights and where he was like having a cup of water. Ah, oh, it was incredible. You can't see that on Instagram, but we have an Instagram at Kevin Murph do this. Randy, baby, hit us with something that is, uh, a taste treat, but maybe it's something you have midday and you just want to get going. What do you got for us? Oh, oh, that kind of reminds me of uh, some crispy treats that you may have. This is a Power Crunch original. Salted caramel, which is very popular right now. If you remember at Thanksgiving, we found that salted caramel Pepsi that I assume is off the shelves or in the clearance bin by now. Clearance bin. We used to do things with the clearance bin. Maybe someday that will come back. So here's the big idea with Power Crunch. You get 13 grams of protein. You get 5 grams of sugar. Let's see if it tastes as good as it looks. Um, this is by the Bio Nutritional Research Group out in Irvine, California. 205 calories, so it's got some nice sustenance to it. It's got your potassium, your fiber. Which is very important again when you're having all that protein. You gotta mix in lots of good fiber, not that bad fiber. So the smell is pronounced right off the bat, as you could not smell. Um, it's uh, got that wafery cookie. I'm expecting a taste treat, like that time me and Randall made the Twinkie Sundays and he showed me his recipe his grandma made with the Cool Whip and the uh, pink cookies. Let's see what it's all about. If you gave me that and said it was just one of those wafer cookies, I believe you. There is a slight aftertaste, but you like I feel like I'm tasting it because I expected it. A little bit that lives on the outside part of your tongue. But it is a tasty version of a wafer treat. I'm getting my protein. I'm having a mid-morning snack with my coffee with the girls from accounting. 
I'm loving life and I'm staying on my high protein diet. So Power Crunch Protein Energy Bar Original, you did a good job with this salted caramel. You may have a chocolate that's completely booty that I might hate, but I'm buying your salted caramel again. And we know Monk Monk loves the salted caramel. This is what we do whenever we have Kentucky Fried Chicken. Nom, 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 nom. Monk Monk, please. He doesn't even lick his fingers, but he'll lick everybody else. She licks his toes, though. Monk Monk went in one time and uh, he saw the doctor about a foot injury. The doctor goes, Monk Monk, your foot is definitely broken. And Monk Monk went, I want a second opinion. And he goes, well, it tastes horrible, too. Something that hopefully doesn't taste horrible. Randy, baby, are you over there? All right, what do you got cooked up for us? Uh, oh, well, do it up, friendo. This is a s'mores protein bar, and you know we're about that s'more like, son. Quest, is this the same company? No, this is Power Crunch, this is Quest. 14 grams of fiber, 1 gram of sugar, 21 grams of delicious protein. 190 calories, so a little less. It's pretty dense though. It's, it's probably going to go a long way in keeping you full. Um, oh, this is half your daily dietary fiber, which is good. Again, made out in California. I think that's where a lot of the, uh, the fitness industry is. Contains almond and milk-derived ingredients. Milk-derived ingredients. I don't even know what that means. Um, here's to not getting sick off of too many chemicals. This one is wrapped up well, I imagine it's melted. Because that's what happens with a lot of these bars. If you have a hard time opening it, you get something inside and it is melted. Good Lord. Well, this has the consistency of Laffy Taffy. That was harder to unwrap than our emergency Christmas gifts the other week. Good golly, Miss Molly. Um, first glance, this has the funk of those protein bars that you know and love from your childhood that are just hard to choke down and you need a lot of drink. So there's a good thing we got a lot of drink. Smells that way too. This is your prototypical protein bar. Not only does this not taste like a s'more, this tastes like a gym mat. There's some kind of flavor, but it doesn't taste like food. There's something going on. And there's chocolate in there. There's like these big glomules of chocolate. But, again, it's like a dark chocolate or something. Nothing going. If I was dieting hard and I was dieting clean, I'd eat it to eat it because I need to eat it. But, man, Randy, I need something with crazy flavor to knock me out of that fun. Oh, no, you didn't. No, you didn't. You didn't know Monk Monk loves brownies, son. And not only does Monk Monk love brownies, I love brownies. This is a Metrix High Protein Brownie Chocolate Fudge. Period. That's literally what it says. High Protein Brownie Chocolate Fudge. Um... It's like in Japan with those games of the good time, fun time hour, chocolate, chocolate, ha ha ha. Like, I, I don't know who their marketing people are, but they should work a little harder. No artificial flavors, naturally flavored, high protein bar, 24 grams of protein. You got your 2 grams of dietary fiber. You got your 18 grams of the sugar. You got 9 grams of that good old sugar alcohol we've been talking about. Nothing to it, a baby could do it. There's a brownie baby. Oh yeah, it's looking good so far. Looks like those uh, petite la fleurs or whatever those little cakes are if you quartered them up. I'm gonna get a little bit of that non-taste taste out of my mouth from that last bar. Mm. Mm. Yeah, that's soul wrenching. Um, oh, it's harder than a lot. You're not missing anything. This doesn't need, this is a brownie in name only. 
If I came in here with a dog biscuit and I wrapped it up and I called it a biscotti, you would be mad at me. That's how I feel about this. It's right there with that s'more thing. If I needed to diet and I needed the calories and I needed my tummy full, I would finish eating this. I'm under no such obligation, metrics. Go over there with your friend. Randy, I know your heart's in the right place. I'm sure these taste good to you. What do you, what do you got coming down the pipe? A complete cookie. Hmm. Some of the completest cookies I've ever had have been on this show. They're, we've had so many good cookies. Look at a complete cookie by Lenny and Larry, two guys who look like uh, Yahoo serious if you're old enough or Googly uh, uh, inclined enough to look up. Well, there's 10 grams of fiber. Okay, we've been getting a lot of fiber, no big deal. No dairy. Suppose that's good if you're vegan. It's vegan. Suppose that's good if you're vegan. No egg, no soy, non-GMO. 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 Oh, oh. Monkey baby. All right, let's see. And there's 10,000, oh, they call them facts, but it's really just a list with a bunch of check marks next to it. Um, 200 calories. Feels like you're getting a pretty big cookie. LACA, Los Angeles, California. Besides what we already mentioned, it's kosher, shalom. Fresh baked, okay, as opposed to stale baked, I like that. No high fructose corn syrup, well that's good because we're trying to avoid that right now. No cholesterol, no artificial sweeteners, no sugar alcohol, sustainable palm oil. I imagine this will not be sweet at all. But you call it a complete cookie and you say snickerdoodle. Is there any cinnamon in here? They got pea protein, rice protein, vital wheat gluten, cane sugar, so there is some sugar in here. Wait a minute, oh, I didn't say sugar free. Oh, okay. Well, it's got some sugar, so that's fine, because if your system's growing right, you can deal with a little sugar. And like on Monk Monk's favorite show, The Fairly Odd Parents, There's a lot of cinnamon-ish sugar in there. Wow, that is a complete cookie. That's a big old cookie. It's soft. It's chewy. It's got a good deep beat and I can dance to it. There's something to it, but if you told me that was like a pumpkin cookie, I'd believe you. Um, it's a honkin' sized cookie, so it'll fill you up. It's soft, it's, it's moist, all the rest. Ah, I, I got no beef with the complete cookie. I'll say that's probably the second best thing we've eaten thus far, but Randall, it seems like everything is a bar or a cookie. Is there any other way to get protein other than being a bar, a cookie, an egg of meat, or a, a, a shake? What is it? Oh no, you didn't, Randall. You found some protein chips? We gotta get into these, man. I'll tell you what. Oh, 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 oh. Because usually I have chips with a sandwich. And uh, we've not been having a lot of bread this week. Because we're flexing, son! <gasps> Monk Monk's like a young Hulk Hogan in his prime. I want you, I want you, brother, this Wednesday at Monkomania. It's El Guapo Randall Guadalupe versus Senor Monkelsworth in the rematch of the century. And I've been training. I've been saying my prayers. And I've been eating my vitamins. <laughs> vitamins. <sighs> that ain't a dap, son. That's a dap. Can you hear me? I've been lifting heavy weights. All right, Monk Monk, settle down, baby, settle down, it's cool. Contact your local pay-per-view provider.
It's good. I need something salty. It looks kind of like those uh, baked ri uh, Ritz or Wheat Thins or whatever. It doesn't really look like a chip, but there's some barbecue work in there. Like, don't count anything shaped like a chip. So if you can deal with eating a million little chips, these are all right. Um, I wouldn't want them every day for the rest of my life. But they're good. And it's a good alternative, to, like I said. Bars, shakes, things that are like cookies, things that are like brownies. But you know what? There's got to be a really good thing that is like something that is naturally an awesome treat. Randall, give me something over there that's reminiscent of something that I've had every year, once a year, on my birthday, birthday cake, protein bar, crunch, birthday cake, monk, monk, ha, 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 throw it over here, Randy. Oh, that was a good pass for a guy that was in the NFL. Ah, Fit Crunch by Chef Robert Irvine. You know Chef Robert Irvine. He's like, this soup is terrible. Are you trying to give me gastrointestinal problems? Oh, daddy. Oh, wait, he doesn't say that, but Chef Robert Irvine whipped up a birthday cake protein bar, and he's the buff chef. He's always wearing an extra medium shirt. He's married to that pretty uh, lady wrestler, Gail Kim. Birthday cake, whey protein, so there's none of that soy business. Uh, my goal is simple. I want to empower people through food and fitness to thrive every day. Well, Chef Irvine, I'm going to take a bite and share my experience at FitCrunchBars.com or at FitCrunchBars on all the social medias. Uh, the only six layer baked bar made by old Bobby I out in uh, Pennsylvania or something. I don't know. I can't tell. I think there's a whole schmoz going on about where he's incorporated. But, oh, look at that, baby. If that doesn't look like a birthday cake, you're absolutely right. Um, maybe when we get in the middle, it has some crunchies, it has a white glaze. It has like some kind of raspberry drizzle. Let's see if it's like a birthday cake, friends. It's not bad. It has definite flavor. You can taste something vanilla-y in there. You probably can't see because it's kind of cooked down, but there's a lot of little um, funfetti type things in there. Um, you didn't save the best for last, but you saved the left best bar for last, Randall. Actually, we'll call it a tie. S'more Quest Bar, good day to you, sir. Metrics Fudgy, what was it, wait, hold on, what was it called? High Protein Brownie Chocolate Fudge. Sounds like an incomplete thought by a child having a fever dream while being tickled by his great aunt Susan. Metrix, not quite a brownie. Not quite a brownie. Quest, you did already on these chips, though. They came out good. They got a barbecue vibe. Soy free again. Soy, get the hell out of here. Get the heck out of Dodge. We don't want any more soy in our lives than when we're eating protein and being bodybuilders and stubbly little monkeys. This is how I am in the gym. No gym intimidation. Monk Monk's going to give you a hug and tell you you're doing a good job lifting. He's not going to say, get out of here with that wax off, son. You don't need a spotter or a weight belt. Go ahead and rupture your distance all over in a broken leg. No, Monk Monk will be like, Hey man, I don't have to ask if you lift, because I can tell that you lift. You're looking studly. And then he'll give you a high paw. Because that's the kind of helpful guy he is. 
He gave me a spot one time. Didn't work out so good because he's about one foot tall. But uh, his heart was there. So, um, the uh, complete cookie, completely delicious. This Power Crunch Original Salted Caramel, delicious. An old Bobby Irv, Robert Irvine TV chef, Restaurant Impossible. I think there's another Impossible. I don't know. He did a fine job with his birthday cake. He comes in third. Something that's never third, it's first in your heart, is sharing and liking this video. If, if you want to do that, great. But you know what you should do first? You should subscribe. Because then you get Monk Monk right to your mailbox. And it's all like, here, y'all got a special delivery. It's your old buddy Monk Monk coming to tell you that you're doing them sit-ups mighty fine. Because Monk Monk's like that. And uh, don't forget our playlist. Last week, sugar-free was the way to be. Next week, we have more of our healthy January for you. We all know this, yeah, we gotta go to the store. But when we go to the store, we're gonna be pushing the cart through and we're gonna be like, oh yeah, oh yeah. And then Monk Monk will be over there, kneading the dough, kneading the dough, kneading the dough, doing the Q-tip, doing the Q-tip. And we'll be dancing our way through the store, buying all kinds of good and healthy things for you. Thanks to our nutritional coach, Rock and Randall, Rock and Randall, take a bow. Oh, man. He's just trying to wipe out diabetes, laziness, and overall wimptitude and make a healthier America for you and me. What the heck's going on over there? Sounds like somebody's running an electronic screwdriver. Anyways, until next time, that was Randall. This is Monk Monk. I'm Murph. We're going to go see what that buzzing is and make sure that our house isn't on fire. And until uh, next time, we'll uh, see you next time we do this. Damn it, baby.